This whole situation with DJ Envy and Caesar is the perfect example of why black capitalism will not save us because at the end of the day, they gotta get got by you before they don't get by <laughs> Period. Let's talk about it. Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black bean neck on. What's going on, y'all? We have seen the story, we've seen the drip, drip, drop coming out about DJ Envy and Caesar's relationship and their business practices or lack thereof. Now DJ Envy is saying that it's not their business partner, they have lost money too. Even though we've seen plenty of videos of DJ Envy going to houses, promoting the hell out of Caesar, having him on the Breakfast Club, promoting him on Instagram, all of this, like it is giving scam. And <laughs> nobody is exempt from being scammed. But who is hurt the most from this are poor people. And by the way of blackness. Like this is the perfect example of black capitalism. The you need the information. It's not the system is messed up. You too, black person, can benefit from the system if you have the information. They don't want you to know this. That's why you need to come in the seminar, pay me $200 to come to the seminar, get this information. And this is why conversations about capitalism are annoying to a lot of folks, but it is needed. It is needed because the system is working perfectly. The reasons why we are struggling to get out of poverty because capitalism exists, we have to be exploited. A lot of us do not have the capital to be able to do these things. A lot of us are the capital. We are the capital for the people who are exploiting our labor and our work to continuously make profit. That is how it works. Exploit, exploit, exploit. Make profits. If you look at some of the biggest companies the biggest companies, Walmart, Apple, even I just got through watching a documentary, a docu-series about Timu, this new um, shopping website that is over in China. Like they are, you know, getting products um, from, you know, very, very cheap labor. And all of them do that. Apple does it. Apple does it a lot. Have other countries, um, produce some of the some of the, the products so it can make it cheaper to sell because at the end of the day if I can spend fifteen dollars on this product being made and sell it for six hundred dollars like I can bring in a lot of profit like you see it all the time honestly no shade I've seen it with like the clothing stuff I've especially seen it when it comes to the, 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 like I love y'all black gays but some of y'all in these jock straps and stuff y'all been selling girl y'all having this stuff made in a warehouse somewhere in, in China or whatever for like five dollars and y'all around here charging thirty dollars for it y'all slap your name on it and y'all are rich as hell a lot of folks are exploiting labor to make huge profits like that is how capitalism works there's no way around that there's no way oh, that's why people like myself and others have been talking about it because we get situations like this this is very dangerous because the thing about black capitalism is it is sold to black folks like like i said you just need the information. You can benefit from the system. And you'll get folks like DJ Envy, like I want to get out of poverty. DJ Envy is making money, he's doing well, so he must know something that I don't know. Like he is able to sell, like look at myself, like I was able to pull myself up by my bootstraps and look how I'm out here flipping houses and making money. It's just, you're flipping houses you have a video of Caesar admitting that all you gotta do is throw some TVs up. Like this flip right here, this one, how much do you think we can make up this flip? Three, 375,000. You think we make that much? Yep, all day. There's nothing to do here, just put up the TVs. A slumlord, like a person buying a very cheap, like piece of property, throwing some stuff up, very slumlord, like not making sure everything is up to code, not going out of the way, making sure the stuff is straight, but charging like it is. And now you have these folks purchasing these things and you're making money, but you haven't spent anything. Like we're all being effed up. We're all being effed. Like even me purchasing this house in 2021, there's some things I'm noticing in my house that I can tell that everything was not put into like stuff that is not level. And you're gonna find that regardless because at the end of the day, it's about the builder making profit. 
they're not going to be getting the best person usually to make sure everything is done. They're in a rush, mass produced. We keep making jokes and talk about, oh, they throwing these houses up. They've been doing that for the longest. Like they've been doing that. Like, yes, we can talk about these older houses and stuff, uh, you know, standing up, but that's because the material that was used was cheap then. It was cheaper to make this, it was cheaper to put this in. It's always been that. It's always, they're just finding new ways to exploit it. Uh, because like over the last like, couple of years since the pandemic, the price of wood has went up. So they have to find another way to make stuff cheap. Like high low situation, like I'm going to spend money on this so it can look like this is expensive. But when you look at it, it's not giving what you thought it was giving. Um, and that's what happens. Like, I don't trust folks who do Airbnbs. Like, if that's your your goal, like, you have folks saying that, oh, I own some Airbnbs, or Toro and all other stuff. Like, these folks really think they can Toro the Airbnb themselves out of poverty. And it's just like, no, you can't. Because you need people to exploit. You need people to exploit at the end of the day. And this is an example of that. Like, the business practice was getting somebody. Like, I'm going to get you. So I can make profit. Like that's literally what homegirl said. And you have DJ Envy kind of laughing off because that's what it is. Like I'm going to get other folks. So what happens if we all out here getting folks? How? How, how does that work? Like we all just going to be getting each other? Poor people have to exist. There has to be people to exploit. That is the only way that works. Period. So DJ Envy has been promoting this person like for the last couple of years. Um, all on the Breakfast Club, and now you got DJ Envy basically saying, "Oh, I lost stuff too," and it is a lot going on. Like when I look at the information that's being put out, this stuff has been going on for years. Caesar has been robbing Peter to pay Paul. Like this person has invested a hundred thousand dollars for a property that I don't even own, or a property that I'm saying is worth $300,000 and I've had it on the market for the last two, three years. These people are not knowing to look at stuff. They're not looking to go through and make sure everything is detailed. All these businesses are finding some way to do it. So it's just, all of it is a scam. It's just a bigger scam. Like it's just very obvious because to me, the biggest scam is NSF fees. That is the biggest scam to me that I can think of because you're charging folks for not having money in an account. But when I go to the bank, I can't even withdraw like a certain amount of money out of the account uh, without you being pissed off. The bank does not want you to withdraw all your cash. Like they do not because they need that to be able to invest in other things. They need our cash on hand to invest in other things. If all of us go and withdraw all of our cash at the bank, a lot of these banks will collapse. That's what happened to one of the banks in, um, in California. Like folks were trying to withdraw their money because the bank was losing a lot of coin and the coin was their customers. All of this stuff is a scam. All of it is. Everything is a scam. The credit system is a scam. All of it is working against us because it's not supposed to be out here like for the people. It's for the corporations and these businesses who are making profits. Like making profits, like we've been dragging these companies for the longest. We've been talking about Ticketmaster. We've been talking about Netflix. We've been talking about these big corporations and stuff, doing effed up stuff. We're just okay to it. We're just normal. It's just normalized at this point. It's so normalized that we don't see it as a scam. We don't see it, but a lot of this stuff, we start really thinking about it like, hey girl, I've been working this company for like the last two, three years during the pandemic and I have not seen a significant raise but the CEO has been getting 10, 15 million dollar raises every year and getting huge bonuses while I can't even take off two weeks off of work without, you know, being in the hole, being, being in debt. Like I can't even afford a sick day. That's what's going on. Like it's so normalized. It's normalized that we're working 40 hours a week and that's still not enough to be able to pay our bills for a lot of folks. 40 hours a week, eight hours five days a week. That's almost the entire week. That is a piece of the whole day because it's not even eight full hours. It is time getting ready to go to the job, resting for the job. 
it's become normalized. So that is why as much as folks get upset about me being very quote unquote radical, I want folks to understand how this stuff works. There is not enough conversations with Jay-Z that's going to save you from, from poverty and capitalism. It's just not. The running joke, oh, dinner with Jay-Z or $500,000. And people honestly think that they can learn more from Jay-Z than $500,000. Like, what knowledge does Jay-Z have? What does he know? I need his information because I need to be able to make the money he's making. Because we have been sold this idea is that we don't have the information. The information is holding a lot of people back. Because if you understood capitalism, you will understand like, oh, this, like looking at the information, I'd never be rich. We are closer to being homeless than rich. A lot of us are. Yes, the information is definitely something that we are missing but it's not the information that we think it is. It's not the information of how to participate in capitalism and to make money. It's that capitalism will never work for everybody, period. That is the information that a lot of us are missing. Um, but, you know, looking at this thing, I'm just, you know, DJ Envy, I really would not be surprised in the next, like, couple of months or whatever that I heart has to let him go. I, I don't know for sure. But our heart media is gonna be looking shady. Like DJ Envy has been dragged for a minute at this point. Like it's going on for months at this point and it's only getting worse. And if these advertisers feel like their like brand is associated with this and decide to pull out because they don't wanna be, you know, advertised next to somebody who is out here being called a scammer. Like if they pull back, our heart media is gonna have to make a decision. They're going to have to, you know, it may be a situation where, you know, iHeart might say, hey, DJ Envy Girl, you got to make a decision. We ain't going to fire you, but you need to step down. Like, we're going to give you a little severance package, do whatever you need to do. But, like, girl, this is not looking cute for us. So, I will be on the lookout for that any minute. Like, it, it's, it's got to come. DJ Envy going to have to take a break. He's going to have to take a break for a minute because this is getting worse. And I bet he's fighting this tooth in there. It's not looking good. Like, it's not looking good. There's too many videos popping up constantly every day. Like, every day. And there's a lot of folks who just ain't been feeling DJ Envy. Like, the press ain't good. You just got, um, what's her name? Erica Mina, which she put on whole blackface to do a whole interview, sit down with Carlos King for what reason I do not know. And she's sharing her story of how she was, you know, dating him while he was married and damaged. It's just not looking good. And also around this time, DJ Envy is doing videos talking about his million dollar car collection. It just does not look good. It doesn't look good. And it's funny watching this because DJ Envy is not the only person. There's a lot of these folks out here selling dreams and stuff and saying, you can be like me too. Like, you just got to have the information. It's a long running thing. And it's dangerous to poor folks, working class folks, specifically black folks, because black folks, we don't have a lot of capital. We, lot, we don't have no capital. We don't have money to be giving to bull crap like that. But we will if it's going to make a better future for us. If we're being sold a dream and we fall into it. I don't blame folks going to these seminars. I don't blame them at all because they're trying to find a way out. And that's all they know. Like, that's all they know. It is disgusting to watch DJ Envy, like, interview and have Caesar continuously say this stuff. Like, honestly, no shade. It's giving preachers. It's honestly reminding me of the black church. No shade. It's giving full black church. Being sold that, you know, you need to do these things to get out of whatever. And a lot of us not getting out. I know too many folks who've been going to church. I have family members who've been going to church for the longest. Like, and been sold this dream that you need to be giving more to God. Not necessarily even money. I ain't even getting to tithes and all the other stuff. But you need to be giving yourself to God. You need to be doing this stuff because this is the reason why stuff is not, you know, going right for you. And there was a conversation, honestly, I have to talk about this on, on Patreon because it's a little bit deep uh, about how um, black folks and gospel music, you know, being okay with essentially being unalive because heaven will be... Um, better than this, like accepting that this is trash and they can't wait to like go and go to a better place because this is just complete suffering. Um, there's so much, child. Baby, 
Colonialism has done a number on us, like, ooh, too much, too much, too much, too much. Um, and, you know, again, I just don't, I don't feel bad for the folks who are investing two, three hundred thousand dollars to DJ Envy um, in hopes to making more money. I don't like y'all are greedy as hell. I don't know too many people who have two hundred thousand dollars, twenty, fifty thousand dollars to invest in stuff like this. I just don't know them. I, I don't know y'all. And y'all were OK with getting other folks. So now y'all upset that y'all got got. Y'all OK with charging a tenant. You OK with charging a tenant. You okay with charging a tenant two thousand dollars for an apartment? You know it's only worth twelve hundred dollars because y'all own the land. You're not producing anything. You're not producing shit. You just you just have the land. You have the capital to be able to purchase something like that. And just to hear DJ Envy say, "I want folks to invest in properties and invest in properties," like <laughs> sure, sister. And when does it become like enough is enough? When does it become like, hey, I'm straight? Because y'all want more. You want more. That's how shit works. It's never enough. Which is why I did a video about one of y'all faves. And they still out here selling stuff. It's just like, a lot of our faves, like, girl, these parasocial relationships, consumerism will be the end of us. Like, it's, it's funny watching it in real time how people will say, talk about how much groceries is, how everything is expensive. And then a celebrity will say, hey, girl, buy this. Hey, buy this. Buy this, buy this. And it's just like, girl, you taking all my money, but I guess. Yeah, um, talk to you soon. Bye.